All right, well, it's an absolutely beautiful day outside and we are finally getting back to work on the Turbo LS street truck build. We took a little bit of a hiatus to get some stuff figured out on the C6 competition drift car build so we can get parts ordered, get stuff on the way. We have a deadline with that thing. Um, and we have a, a soft deadline with this, so I wanna get back on this. I'm just excited to get this thing done and drive it. We've gotten a lot of work out of the way. We built the motor, it's a six liter iron block. We did a rods, pistons combo, supported cylinder heads. We got that put together. We got it dropped in the truck with the trans. We got the turbo set up on here. We got the turbo kit built as far as the intercooler piping. We got the intercooler mounted back behind the grill, all the piping done. So now it's time to move on to the hot stuff on the turbo kit. We need to build our crossover pipe to this turbo manifold and our downpipe slash exhaust. I'm still a little on the fence there. We're gonna kind of play it by ear as we just start building. It's my rough game plan. So what we need to do first is work on the crossover. That's gonna kind of dictate where the exhaust can go. So as you can see, we do not have a header on this side, but we do have what we need to go on there. Let me show you what we got. So we have this hooker cast uh, turbo manifold. They make a whole kit that's this driver's side and then the passenger side has the setup for the turbo and then this is the crossover pipe to go from this side to that side. So we're basically feeding from the passenger bank into the driver's bank and then the turbo. So this crossover isn't gonna work perfectly for our setup. They have a bunch of different crossovers depending on like what trans setup you're running and things like that. So this one is for the 4080, it'll fit there, but we do not have a hooker header on the other side. For this truck, I went with a follower speed and performance uh, turbo manifold for this side. So it's also a log cast manifold. It's got the V-band inlet there to come over from the passenger side. And the reason we went with this is because this allows us to keep AC. This is a street truck. We live in Florida. AC is a must. So the hooker setup's really cool. I like their setup as well, but you don't, you can't keep AC with it because of the way, it, the way it's designed. But the crossover isn't gonna be a perfect fit to this manifold. So we're gonna have to modify it some and that's where I wanna start. I wanna get the hooker header on that side, get the crossover in, do the modifications we need. Once that's done, we can move on to the downpipe. I'm gonna have to do some, uh, some moving around, some shuffling of some stuff to make that work, but we'll get there when we get there. Let's get this header on. All right, we got the header on. Ah, man, it looks snazzy in there. We could have just, uh, you know, gone more budget, used the stock manifold, but these hooker manifolds aren't that expensive and they look so much cleaner. And it's got, a, it comes built in with a V-band instead of us welding one on, or I don't know. I think it's a nicer way to do it. I do like the look of the, the nice aftermarket cast manifolds. It's, it's very OEM plus. So anyway, jibber jabbering. We got that on. Uh, we need to bring this thing up and start working on the crossover. But before we do that, I wanna show you another uh, mod, mod upgrade, something that I did to the truck the other day in my spare time that I'm pretty excited about. This thing's pretty cool. So I went ahead and installed a decked two drawer system. So this thing is super cool. Decked is the sponsor of today's video. So we basically end up with two drawers that pull all the way out. Easy to keep stuff organized. Stuff is super easy to get to because it's waist height. You're not climbing up over, digging in. It's weatherproof, so it keeps stuff out of the elements. It is secure. We can either get locks for the drawers themselves or lock the tailgate. Each one of these is able to handle 200 pounds, which is more than I think we'll ever put in it. The idea here is I wanna do things like the uh, the race weeks and the sick week and, and that kind of stuff. Sick week is kind of my soft, soft uh, deadline for the truck to get it done. And this is the perfect way to bring stuff and store stuff. We have a place to keep the important, valuable stuff, spare parts, tools, camera gear, etc., organized and secure. But then we still have the whole footprint of the bed to store things like, you know, our drag tires, fuel jugs, etc. I mean, we can still essentially fill up the whole bed and have all this room underneath to keep everything secure and organized. The other nice thing is these are 100% made in the US, also backed by a lifetime guarantee. So I'm stoked this is the perfect solution for storage at this truck, especially it being a single cab, that's always a struggle and this pretty much completely solves our problem. So if you're interested in checking out the deck product line or getting free shipping on your two drawer deck system for your truck, you can visit my link down in the description and that will offer you free shipping, which 
think about it, that's a pretty good deal with how big these things are. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a big unit. So I'm stoked to have that in, but uh, yeah. Get back to our exhaust situation. Let's get this thing lifted up and start working on our crossover. All right, so you can see our two points here. There's one. And then the other, we also need to keep an eye on where we put our drain. Other than that, there's a plate that goes here to cover the converter, but this this crossover was built for this and we're only gonna have to change the end. So we should be okay there. Uh, but all in all, we've got pretty much everything in here we need. It's time to uh, start fitting and chopping and welding. You know the drill. <laughs> if you've been here a while, you, you, you know the drill. It shouldn't be too bad. So you can see this flange is a little bit lower than this side. So we'll chop this. I think if we add just like another 45, we could probably pitch it right back in. So, all right, let's start uh, the chopping, fitting, and welding process. All right, so we got the pipe done. Uh, we got a pretty big old gap to fill because I screwed up and got two and a half inch piping when I ordered all this stuff from Mishimoto, not two and a quarter, which is what the crossover is and what is pretty common for these crossovers. So I just got too big of pipe. 
Uh, but I didn't want to have to wait a week or two to get more in, to, to pause this, to come back to it. I, I was antsy, I wanted to get it done. So we made it work. It's not the prettiest thing, but you don't really see it anyway. And uh, it'll work. It'll do the job. This ain't no show truck. Stuff you can see though, we'll have to try to do a little better, <laughs> but it should work. I uh, just gotta let it cool down and then we'll toss it back in, make sure it still fits. And uh, then we can move on to the downpipe. I'm excited for that. And the wastegate. I don't know which one we're gonna do first. We'll figure that out. I'm not gonna go too crazy tightening this because we are gonna have to take that uh, manifold back off to weld our wastegate onto it, but we got everything mocked up, everything fits good. All right, well, I'm trying to multitask here, <laughs> watching the F1 race and working. So now that we've got the crossover tube done, you can see it from up here. It looks nice besides that uh, pipe differential. It's time to start working on the wastegate, mounting our wastegate and building our downpipe. I think I want to do the wastegate first because that'll kind of dictate where we can go with the downpipe. They're both going to kind of impact each other. So for the wastegate, we've got two spots here. We've got a spot at the front and then a spot right there. So the wastegate's too big to fit directly on the side spot. And then up here, it's kind of in a really bad spot for the heater hoses and things like that. So I think really our only option, especially for heat management, is to run a tube 90 off here, come back a little bit, and then put the wastegate. It'll make it an easy run for our dump tube, and then should still give us clearance for our downpipe. Let's uh, start making a, a wastegate tube. I am a little worried that we might end up with some boost creep doing it this way because it's kind of a long run for the exhaust to go to get dispatched, you know, out. Turbo V8 stuff, you tend to have boost creep issues. It's a lot of exhaust volume for a turbo, so it's easy to basically make too much boost and the wastegate can't get rid of it all. So we definitely don't want that, but I, I, I don't, don't really think we have a much better option at the moment. So I figure we'll try it, worst case it doesn't work, chop it, plate it, and we'll put the wastegate right on the housing. That seems to work pretty well. So yeah, a whole lot of jibber jabbering to say, it's time to get back to work. Let's get to it after the race is over. So we got some more Ishimoto fabrication components. I believe this should be 1.75 inch. I hope I at least got this one right. Thinking something like like this, basically. And it seems like it's gonna work. I'm seeing it cut a little bit off this pipe.
perfect. All right, we've got our tube all tacked up. I basically did a inch and three quarters, which the hole saws always walk a little bit and they waller out the hole. I did that for like, I don't know, a quarter inch and then used an inch and five eighths. So that way basically the pipe could recess down in there a little bit for the weld, but it wasn't gonna be that diameter all the way through. So you can kind of see it there. But dude, this thing is thick, man. Look at that massive chunk. That doesn't tell you how beefy this manifold is. I don't know what will. So anyway, uh, we're gonna get this thing back on the truck, couple bolts in it, and then see how this all looks in case we have to cut the tacks and redo this. I hate tacking stuff out of the vehicle because it just, even if you mark it, it, it never lines up right. But we've got a little leeway for, with this. I just wanna make sure it's still good before we start welding this stuff out and then moving on to building the rest of our dump pipe. So yeah, enough jibber jabber, let's get at her. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, not back to it. I don't, I don't know. Let's get back to work. All right, so this is what it looks like with just the wastegate. So we got our tube. I am this plastic. Yeah, it's not going to work for us, but there, we had to keep this as far over here as possible because we got to run a four inch downpipe. So. I've got the tube right there. Um, now I can run this like more like this, which was kind of the original plan and then point it down, but then we're limiting our room for our exhaust. So I think it's gonna have to be something like that. And then we'll have to cut this end shorter, duck it down. Basically my plan is to just aim it at the ground for now. Uh, but anyway, let's get the turbo loosely bolted up and then just kind of mock up some four inch pipe in here. Uh, and see if this is all going to be copacetic. We should be good if we modify that heat shield. Yeah, if we modify that heat shield, we should have room to cut through here. It's going to be tight with four inch, but definitely need to keep the wastegate tube all the way over this way. I'll probably cut it and 90 it there. And I don't know. We'll worry about that once we get this stuff welded. I want to go ahead and pull the manifold off weld up everything so far, and then uh, that way we can put it back on and bolt it down officially, have it on for good. So reverse process, weld her up. Shoot, I almost left you hanging without a snap trick. Uh, you think that's a good angle? All right, let's get the weld. Looks pretty snazzy so far. We're probably gonna have to cut this shorter and start diving earlier, but I wanted to get it all put back in before we start messing around with that. Hope that I can put this in. Yeah, with all this on here.
Okay, last step, get the crossover tube back on. All right, manifold is officially back on, crossover tube. Fold is torqued down. Hopefully it doesn't have to come back off. I left it a little loose so I didn't crush the fresh gasket, um, but we've tightened it down. It shouldn't need to come back off. So that's all done and dusted. Wastegate is loose so we can clock it and figure out what we wanna do there. I wanted to get the wastegate dump pipe done. However, we really need to start building the down pipe to kind of figure out what direction we want to go with both of them. It's going to get tight with both of them trying to play in the same area. So we need to start on the down pipe. However, uh, one, it is dark. It is late. Two, we're out of argon. So I need to go get both my bottles filled. I'm already almost done with my second bottle. When they get low, they get a little... The, the welding just starts not becoming great. So I want to fill them up before we run out fully. So we'll knock that out tomorrow and then we'll be back at it to build out our downpipe. And then obviously the west, rest of our wastegate pipe. Then from there it's exhaust. And once that's done, we're essentially done with the fab work as far as I know. I'm sure maybe a little project will come up, but for the most part we're done which means we can move on to wiring. And when we move on to wiring, we can go ahead and pull the trans out, send it off to get rebuilt, because right now we need it to keep the engine level when we build the exhaust so we know where the trans is, we need it in there for mock-up. After the fab work's done, we can take it out and then we can start on the wiring. Hopefully by the time we're done with wiring, transmission's done, pop it back in, go party. So we're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, I am super excited to get this thing done, get it on the road and like I said, we're cruising right along, but uh, still plenty of work to do, but we're taking it one step at a time. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video out here. It's getting chilly. I'm going to head inside. Uh, <laughs> I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching this time, and uh, that's all. Goodbye.